awesome, you know who. Playing gigs when we can, trying to impress our fans. Older sister goes berserk, her temper is her biggest perk. I got a plan that might just work now. So it spins, and music just plays? Yep, it came before CDs. You mean coasters? And what came before records? Nothing. I think it was always just records. Good news! I've got chicken pox! How is that good news? We can't play gigs if you're all poxed up. That's exactly the kind of thinking keeping us poxers down. We need to bring awareness to the fact that the pox rocks by throwing a party! But the pox are majorly contagious. Chicken pox aren't contagious. My new dance moves are contagious. He's right! I got the groove! Oh yeah! Come on! Contage it! Look! They're already spreading! Or nobody will come to this party knowing they'll get chicken pox. Then why is it already happening? I told them I'd give them the pox, and they'd get a week off school. What can go wrong? Chicken pox are itchy! And then Prince Nick gave Princess Trina a kiss, and they lived happily ever after. Thanks, Minsky. Time to nap. But first, I want a drink of still water. Pox! Mina, if I wanted rippling water, I would have said so. Pox! Uh, what are they pox, chanting? Pox! 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 pox They're saying pox! I've never had the chicken pox! There's no way that plague pile is getting near me! And there's even more no way Cory's band is gonna make a cool gig out of it! Mina! Hotline phone! Mello! Spots? Scratch it? Say no more! It's happening, Mother! The pox of chicken has come to Peaceville. I'm the only thing standing between this city and a raging contagion. <clears throat> so we're poxed. Are we not human? Do we not bleed when we scratch? The pox aren't the worst, and it's time everyone knows it. Pox, rocks, pox, pox, rocks. Um, poor? Rock and the pox might be easier with, you know, some lyrics. Don't harsh the party, mm -hmm. Mellow. Why are you always trying to burst our bubble? Mm -hmm. Why did you emphasize mellow and bubble in a foreshadowy kind of way? Did I? I thought it was more punny than foreshadowy. I would love to see Cory's face when he realizes his diseased party is like totally... Mina, why is this air so hard? This pox house is trouble, and trouble belongs in a bubble. What? You're quarantining me? Quarantining is such a hard word to spell, but yes, for nine days, and no one scratches. Over there, you'll find anti-scratch mitts and scary outbreak suits. You can't, like, do this in junk! Then why is it already happening? Time to give this party a dose of Trina Cillin. <laughs> well... This is a shocking turn of events. Your sickly soiree is under quarantine for like nine days. No escape and no scratching. If we can't scratch, we'll just make the party fun again by playing our instruments, which I'm going to point out with both hands right now. What? Have fun trying to like thrash this bash with your hands in bands. Now I'm bored. Calling Mello was your worst idea ever, Mina. Blurt out a better one. Um, you could... Talk to hunky Nick Mallory! Nick Mallory says the secret to a cool lean is not needing anything to lean on. Cool lean, Nick? Oven mitts? Hey, why don't you have the pox? Nick does have the pox. Nick just doesn't do spots. Nick says, later spots. How are we gonna rock out now, Cor? Our music makers are all caged up. Kinda wish I hadn't invited the school party critic now. You invited party Danimo? Good party space, check. Original theme, check. Costumes provided, check. Don't you remember what happened to the Tanana sisters when their stomach flu theme party failed? Oh. So much puke, so little guac. Party failed! He gave it his lowest party rating ever. Awesome! Out of a 
possible ten awesomes. Come on, this isn't that bad. A pox party with no scratching? This shindig is sailing for a failing. On uh, second thought, Kim, what do you have at home that can get these mitts off? Hmm, chainsaw? Dangerous. Irresponsible. Perfect! You guys bust out of the bubble and get the chainsaw. Well, Lainey and I get everybody's minds off the pox. How do you suggest we take people's minds off the pox without music? Daddy-O's annual party manual, 50s edition. Hot potato. Hold it till it burns, then pass it on. Lesson learned. Go! The oven mitts kind of take the urgency out of hot potato core. So they do. But it's nothing a game of charades can't fix. One word. Two words. Three, four, five, six? The only conceivable answer is Super Lame Garage Band Chicken Pox Part Tay. Oven mitts are ouchie! Ready to launch through that bubble, bro? Uh, affirmative! Are you, Mike? Get set! <laughs> This is not the first time I've trapped kids in a bubble, boys. Well, setting up a rusty garden tool scratching center didn't work. Ah! Oh. Face it, these prehistoric games just aren't cutting it. My main man is right. This party is deader than a playful possum, so my rating has to be double awesome. Double awesome? We're ruined! Maybe we're going about this wrong. Just because the party can't scratch doesn't mean we can't. Now, where's that turntable? Hmm. Ah! All in wax. Is there any hole you can't plug? Wow! We were almost wax statues. I'd look more surprised, but my eyebrows are gone. Yoink! I'm gonna need this for a little scratch fest. All we need now are some lyrics. And how do you suggest we get them? It's so double like extra cool. Nick just puts his weight on Nick's elbow, then puts his cool in Nick's chest for balance. Like this? <laughs> nope. We need to prove the pox rocks, and I know just the someone who'd love to get poxy. Wicked cool transition! I know you're all angry, but let's not forget what this party was for. To show that the pox rocks! What do you got for us, pox pusher? Spin the bottle! Ooh. Oh. Oh. Spin the bottle? I'm in! But you'll get the chicken pox! No, I'll get the Nick and pox! The super greatest pox ever! Fact! <laughs> Listen, you flaky skinned dorks! This game is invite only, and you've all been like outvited! Time. Hey, Nick, look at me for no reason. Thanks. Trina, Nick is all over your skin. Swoon! Scratch this lame fest onto the best party ever list. We're stuck in this garage, yeah, we're locked in. My face is getting itchy and I'm shedding my skin. But since we're all here and we got a dope track, with your hands in the air from the front to the back. Even though my head is getting very dizzy, I think it's time that we all got busy. Let's throw down some rhymes and pull up our socks. Let's sing it together. Chicken pox rocks. Chicken pox rocks. Yo, I don't mind being this sick. I'm stuck in this garage, but I'm here with Nick. This ain't so bad because this party is rad. This may be the best skin condition I've ever had. This party scene is under quarantine. And I'm keen to scream this lean, mean rap machine. The speed is pumping, you know what I mean? So let's party it up until they find a vaccine. Yo, DJ, scratch it up one time. Jack and Pass Rocks. Jack and Pass Rocks. We're rocking the pox. Pox.
Locks, pop, and locks. This party is officially 10 Awesomes Plus! Ah, best day off school ever. Yep, didn't learn a thing. Thanks, Corey. I think we've learned that some diseases are more fun to have than not to have. And the best disease, party fever. Fun to catch, fun to spread, and impossible to stop. All we can do is quarantine ourselves in a party bubble and rock until we're well enough to catch it again. Sounds fun, son. What are you going to do for the next eight days? Yeah, Cor. Careful, Lanes. The only cure for party fever is a wet blanket. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Con! <sighs> Quit playing giant with the tiny soaps. We got to practice. I'm not doing that. This time. Guys, look! It's Captain Carney and the Bubble Bunch Band! He's a ship captain who works at a carnival. They're a colorful band in a bubble. Are there crickets out there? Or was that an awkward pause? Come on, guys! The Bubble Bunch was an inspiration! Try abomination. Like all puppets. Puppets? If legendary frontman Bobby Blue was just a puppet, would he have inspired me to start my own band? Not likely! Freeze frame! Are you saying your dinkus band only exists because of the Bubble Bunch? For sure! Minus the mean stuff. I should destroy the Bubble Bunch. I should thank the Bubble Bunch! Meh. Hey, guys! What are we doing in this episode? Toilet paper wipe! If those puppets inspired my brother to play music, I'll bet he'd be like totally outspired to play music if those same puppets got destroyed. I never knew you hated puppets. I super never talk about it. But I'll remember it in my head. <laughs> Pretty puppet! Sound going on, kids? It's the Bubble Bunch Band! It show is! Ahoy there, kids! Step right up, step right up! Come one, come all! Be the first to see the Bubble Bunch Band play their new tambourine! No one's happier than the Bubble Bunch Band with the awesomest band in all the land! <gasps> it's Bobby Blue! And he hasn't aged a bit! Especially if you buy a virgin day! Ready, Red! Gary Green! Use of Yellow! What's happening? No! How are you all still playing? Where's your inspiration now, Cory? That's right! I melted it! Well, actually, I melted it. It don't look good, fellas. Bands all melted into goo. Course I seen worse in the Navy. Sharks. Sailor guts. Sharks puking up sailor guts. But you kids don't need that story. Ah, Captain Carney, the Bubble Bunch Band inspired me to make music when I was a kid. So we're gonna take their places and inspire kids the same way they did. Tell you what, kids. If you can turn yourselves into an animatronic puppet band with a brand new song by 0800 hours tomorrow... Sounds reasonable. ...then you'll have yourselves a deal. Can you believe we're going to be the next Bubble Bunch band? This is a dream come true. It's your dream come true. I just can't watch you fail. Hopefully, I'll grow out of that. But how are we going to turn ourselves into an animatronic puppet band and write a new song by 8 tomorrow morning? Got me, but I did order puppets. They'll be arriving right about... There we go. Which one's mine? I know, right? They're identical twins, just like us. Um, there's something wrong with mine. Nope. Spinning image. So accurate. <laughs> puppet looks like a dude. I melt Cory's inspiration and he makes an even grosser puppet band? This calls for an even grosser -er plan! Will I get burned again? Oh, you'll find out, Mins. All in good time. All in good time. Is
Is now a good time? Yes, now is a good time. This is great, guys. With these mocap suits, we can control the puppets from backstage. They'll mimic our every move. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Silly puppet. Gross. Mine's picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, children. Playtime's over. We've got a puppet performance to pull together pronto. That was awesome! There's less than no way those freaky things are going on TV without being blammoed. Put the boom things inside those puppets. <laughs> if you get caught, I so detonate. Knock off the slithering, Mina. Where is everyone? They went for chocolate milk. Ooh, can I have it? There's none left. Keep stuffing. No more milk for Mina! This is it. We're about to fulfill a lifelong dream to use puppets to inspire kids to love music. Even though that puppet part is pretty recent. That's great, Cor. Inspire them with what, exactly? You gotta sing a new song. A new song. I'm actually here. Hey, hey, everybody. Okay, Carney kids, give a big old howdy ho to the brand new Crush Gang. Did we forget the lyrics again? That seems to be a running theme. Let's bright side this. We had a pretty good run of luck until now. Right, guys? <laughs> We might have a mutiny on our hands, Carney Kid. Arr, just say the word, sir. I can have them sinking to the bottom of the sea in six minutes. Is that it? Do I push the button? I can't tell what's happening. Who cares? Make blammo! Hit the door! What was that? Band got totes blown up. Inspiration over. Shame begins. Creepy puppets die. Treat all wins. I don't know what the Sam Hill happened out there. You got two minutes before we come back from commercial, and them puppets better be singing. I'm 97% sure these puppets were not designed to explode goo everywhere. It was Trina. She's been afraid of puppets ever since she was traumatized as a little kid. She hates puppets. She's not your biggest fan either. So what do we do? It's like they say, a new day, a new pile of scary puppets. They sure do. Wicked cool transition! Let's book mittens. We've got a whole afternoon of gloating to do. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Chill, Mins. It's prop just Cory crying out in anguish over his mega annihilation. Revenge! Either that, or his puppets have risen from the trash to exact revenge on us for blowing them up. Puppets are not a joke, Mina! Trina! You did this to me! <gasps> it was her plan! Hers! She made me do it! I didn't want to! I love puppets! Trina! Remember me! sweet lyrics we still got one problem though these puppets are toast like i don't have a backup plan let's give a big carny clap again for the garage game this one's for you bobby blue i'm running from the puppets because they want me dead i hope that i don't lose my beautiful head they're no 
noses are plastic, but I fear they can smell. Their eyes are like windows straight into hell. Sing it with me. I'm running from the puppets because they want me dead. I hope that I don't lose my beautiful head. Their noses are plastic, but I fear they can smell. Their eyes are like windows straight into hell. And this could happen to you. I want to thank you, Garage Band, for a job well done. I'd say you earned yourselves a full-time gig. Down! Oh, forget it. I'll just grow a beard. Thanks, Captain Carney. But as much as I love the Bubble Bunch, I don't think it's for us. Puppets might inspire, but they can also terrify. When you pull a person's strings, you might pull so hard they come apart. And instead of inspiration, they might be filled with something that waits to explode. Pretty creepy, Cor. But you could have turned that into a song. I don't know, Lance. It feels a little mechanical to me. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.